you have people who spend their money the way they want to spend their money, whether it's erroneously, whether it's frivolously. It's no one's business. It's, yeah, I get to spend my money the way I want to spend my money. So how can you tell me in the name of the government that I get to cover your money for you? Because because you can't handle it properly, so I have to handle it for you. But here's the but here's the key. It looks so. There's something when you're in banking, it's called a SARS report, suspicious mm -hmm. activity report, and that thing is issued when, and it's and it's. Sometimes it's triggered by the computer, by the system, but other times it's people that are randomly uh, auditing um, accounts. And so if you're a person that makes $75,000 a year and you see somebody spend $100,000 on a birthday party, that looks suspicious to you. It does, it does. But not... If you make seven million dollars a year, right. that's just that's so just to, to, spend, to spend one hundred twenty thousand dollars on a birthday party it's when just you're Tuesday. when you're when you're seven million dollars per year. Like, okay, so are you gonna take um, Steph Curry's money if he spends one hundred twenty thousand dollars on his daughter's birthday party? Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So is that erroneous? Is that is that frivolous? No, because it's not. You've got, because you you they always say like when you're in <clears throat> when you're in court, you got to be judged by your peers, but. There's no. Who, who are the peers at this no, point? No who are the peer, peers? There's no peer. There's peer no peer group. group. There's no peer group for somebody. I mean, the peer group is the other people that make seven, ten, thirty million dollars a year, but those aren't the people that are evaluating the account. This is a person who makes a hundred, a hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year. Oh my God, a hundred thousand dollars on her birthday, or the suspicious activity, and we need to put her in a guardianship or receivership because that money. But just like that's just how they live. So. From my perspective, from being a person who has never been in this in this realm and now finds myself immersed in it. She wasn't asking anyone for anything. She wasn't she trying wasn't. to live off of the government. She was, I mean, if she went broke, you know. That's and so what? That, that, that's on her. But there, there's so many people that go broke every day. It's it's just like it. Every day. It's, it's, people who make $50,000 a year can go broke. They can file bankruptcy or whatever. She didn't even file bankruptcy or anything like that. Here's the, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Which is not a bad business move if you really need to do it, by the way. That's right. But here's the thing. If 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 you if you, you have to look deeper into everything, and, and it's real simple. When there's a service that the state provides, they get to charge you for. So it it behooves them, it's beneficial to them to put you in guardianship because they get to charge fees for that. Because otherwise, if nobody's in guardianship, how does a guardian get paid? Everybody else is getting paid except for and her. That's the other she thing. She doesn't have a debit card. She doesn't have access to her money except for when her manager was like, "Oh, your money is here, and you're leaving it all out in public." Mm -hmm. And but yet she said, "But you're the one who brought it, to me. brought it to me. You you put it there." But here, here's the thing. Also, her entire staff is still getting their normal paycheck. Normal so paychecks. Everybody is getting paid off this woman's money, but her. But her. No access to her money. No credit card. She can't travel. She can't. I not mean, with, not without help. That makes her feel like she's like a ward of the daggone state. Like you know, a at child. this point, like yeah, like she's in foster care with her own money and her own well-being. Now, mind you, I am not saying, I am not saying that people who have who have some sort of instability or some mental instability. And I'm not saying she has this. Don't say Trina right. said that because Trina did not say that. Well, here's the thing: they can they 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 can make it up. They can just arbitrarily say that you have some kind of issue. And that's what you're dubbed with, whether it's true or not. But not, but not just that. This is not about Wendy Williams when I say this, yeah. or any other people. I'm just not, making be. a statement. It could be about anyone. I'll say, let's say we're watching, a, 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 let's say it's a, a new show called uh, Water Babies of South Central. Now, if they are on their boat and they're drinking in every scene, people can call them an alcoholic. But... You're only you're only depicting one hour of that person's life out of a week span or, or a month span or, or whatever the case may be. An hour. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that she is not in some way debilitated, you know, because it says that she has I'm dementia. Say, I'm gonna say this. Mm -hmm. Which was onset by no, alcoholism. I'm gonna say this. No one can drink as much as they try to make her look like she drank. It's impossible. It's impossible. You, well, would un just, you would unalive yourself if you drank as much as they try to portray her. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. I, and I, I understand the dementia and I understand, you know, when people who have problems with alcoholism. I'm not saying this is Wendy. I'm just saying. People in but general. But I do wonder, 
you know, what about kidney issues? What, what she doesn't have liver, any kid, kidney liver, or liver kidney, or liver kidney? Like she does have the thyroid, but liver kidney thyroid thyroid can happen to anybody. Yeah, but can you check the fries? Did you burn? I turned it off. Good, good. And all I'm saying is, we we can't we can't judge her on past things that she's done in her life to to make her coin or make her, you know, her place in this world the way she felt like she needed to do it. But how you feel about it but, is not the point, though. Exactly. Exactly. none of your business. Exactly, Mundo. None of your business what that woman does with her money. If she wants to get all her money out of the bank and set it on fire, it's all right. She earned it. Well, you actually can. It's illegal to burn money. Yeah, if the government does it, but it's illegal for a private citizen. For, the, for a private but citizen. But my point is, it's illegal for a private citizen. If she wanted to, to get all money. of her money out of the bank and stand on a street corner and give it all away over a two-week period, she's free to do that. Give herself away, shoot. So she can do that. Four burgers. But it's it's just the the point is is that what you have to understand. Give me four of those. Please. Yeah. What you have to to consider is that oh, let's need the fan. Is that when you're a person of means or when you're a, a person of fame, you're a constant target, and there are people. There are some people that may mean you well, but there are other people who are just looking for an opportunity. And their only claim to fame is their association with, with you. you. With you! That's it. And, oh, and, and I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't want to take it another further. Go ahead. I want to talk please. about Britney Spears for a second. I love Britney Spears, by the way. She's a fellow Sagittarian. I will say this. Super talented. See she has her own talents within her own rights. She's talented. But I'm going to say this, though. You mean to tell me this woman can't handle her own kids? She can't handle her own finances? She can't handle this big old house that y'all are, are living in? And y'all get to have friends over, go to the pool, and you guys get to live off of the lifestyle that she's created for herself, and, and she is still able to work. She still has the wherewithal to go to work and make this money so y'all can still get paid while she has no access to her own money. She can, she can rock 60,000 people at a time, but she can't balance a checkbook. Can't balance her checkbook. Well, you know, but... Get out of here, man. You know, that's, you have an account for that. If, 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 you, if you can't, you know, there's an account. Everybody's not good. You know what I mean. With that kind of stuff. But what I'm saying is this. I don't understand how someone feels like your family is not good for you, but someone who doesn't know you is. <sighs> I'm trying to wrap my head around that. Her parents, I'm sorry. Her, I'm trying to extrapolate well, that. Well, her parents, her family in general had, I'm not going to ruin it for anybody, but an obscenely long time of zero contact with her. Where's the plate? Right here. But that was, that was my plate. But, oh, what are you doing? Are they, how long are they going to be on? Just like two minutes. All right. You want butter on it? Of course. Well, give me the butter knife. No, give me a butter knife. Thank you, babe. So, I'm just, you know, when I, when I, when I saw the documentary, Tara Long, you did an excellent job, by the way. Um, I, I, my, my come away was... She needs some real friends. Impossible to get. She needs her family. And she needs at least some modicum, modicum, however you want to pronounce it. Modicum. Of self-respect for herself because now she's being treated like a five-year-old. Yeah. After, after building herself to stardom. After building after herself. After generating millions of dollars. Now all of a sudden she can't take care of it. Man, these people is... <laughs>